Before you get started with the lesson, let me give you a quick overview of how to use this series of videos. This is a series that covers Microsoft Office 2013 using documents, spreadsheets, and presentations. I'm a teacher. I work in Tolleson, Arizona at a high school called Westview High School. These assignments are selected to be exactly like what you would do in the real world. So using Office is what you'll use in a real office or in a real business. There is an assignment book that accompanies every video. Each page in the assignment book has a checklist of the things that you should accomplish in each lesson. Watch the video lesson to see how things are done. After you create your own document using the video as a model, you may have some modifications such as your own business names or your own paragraphs or your own data, but it'll look very similar. Now you can either watch the whole video through at one time or pause it as you go through it. Finally, print the document and your classroom teacher will grade it. So now, let's move on to your next assignment. Welcome to assignment number two for Microsoft Excel. We're going to extend assignment number one using the payroll spreadsheet that we had created earlier. What I'd like to do in this assignment is add a new formula using the IF formula and also adding the idea of paying overtime to our employees. So you notice here in column D that we have the number of hours that each employee worked. The first employee worked 41 hours. We're going to give him a bonus for his extra hour of overtime. So I'm going to start by inserting a column here in column E. If I click the column header, the entire column is selected. I can right click on the column header and choose the insert button and it will now give me a new column to work with. The first column, column D, was the hours worked. Now I'm going to say this is the overtime hours. The overtime hours is a calculated field, so let's come up with a formula that will tell us how many hours extra that this employee worked. At first it would seem simple. We would just say equals the number of hours the person worked, subtract 40, and that will tell us how many hours of overtime this person has. It works great if you have 41, but there's some errors if you have less than 40. I'm going to fill the column down and you will see that when we come to Paul Smith in row number 8 he actually gets a negative 1 hours. It's a negative hours that he's worked. That doesn't seem to work too well. What we would rather give is Paul should have 0 hours of overtime, not a negative number. So let's revise the formula a little bit. So let's go up to here and this time I'm going to type in an equal sign with the word if. If is a command that says let's take a logical test and we will a logical test is either an equal sign greater than or less than and then we'll give it a value depending on if that test is true or not and if it's false we'll give it a different number watch how this works the question is if his hours worked is greater than 40 and a comma the value if it is greater than 40 should be his hours worked minus 40, a comma, and if he worked less than 40 hours, then let's just give him zero for this column, which would be zero hours of overtime. A close parentheses and press, res press return. So he still gets one hour of overtime. But now when I fill the formula down, you see that the people that worked less than 40 hours get zero in their, form in their formula instead of negative numbers. And so this is the correct formula for calculating overtime pay. Now, how, how about the pay? What does that do? Let's go back and review this here. If I double click here, you will see that this formula takes the number of hours, the hourly wage, and fills it in column F. That's great, but now we give them a bonus for working overtime. So let's cre create a new column and call it overtime bonus. Now in this formula, we're going to calculate a bonus for the number of overtime hours they worked. So I'm going to say equals 0.5 and use the time sign. 0.5 times their hourly wage, so we're going to give them half of their hourly wage times the number of overtime hours they worked. What that does is it gives us a, a formula to give them time and a half or one and a half times for each hour that they worked overtime. Press enter. So since John Kern earned one hour of overtime, we give him his full 41 hours of pay plus an extra 50% of his pay for one of those hours. 
Let's fill this down and see what we have for the rest of the people. Some of the people have zero. This one got no extra time bonus because he worked 39 hours. Some of these people worked 40 hours and still got zero time. Why? Because the formula is about how many hours beyond 40 that we're calculating. So they got paid their full wage for the first 40 hours. Now, how about the total pay? Let's put in a new column. The total pay is simply equals to their regular 40 hours of pay plus their overtime bonus and a return. And let's use the fill down option. Some of the numbers are too big, so we will expand the column. And this is their total pay. Down here at the bottom, we calculated maximums, minimums, averages, and totals for all of these formulas. Let's move these to the right. Calculate the totals now, and see we can see what everybody earned, including their overtime. This is assignment number two. Save it and print it again.